It's your birthday, Dad. Yeah. Hard to believe it's time to bring by this fast, boy. But I ain't complaining. <laughs> it's been a blessing. That's definitely a beautiful sure, thing, sure man. A blessing. Yep. You know how old I am now? Dina said it. She said you're 69. That is absolutely correct. Yep. You know, she always keep up with the math. <laughs> she need to yep. keep up with her nipples and dimes. <laughs> She know because her know mother. Because my mom's birthday is Tuesday. She gonna be seven. Oh, okay. That's how she know every I year. Look at sixty-nine because uh, seventy so dead don't close, and the time goes by so fast. Yeah, I do. But you know what I really appreciate Mike about his son? The fact that the matter is is that yeah, I'm sixty-nine, but I like the fact that uh, health is wealth, and I can still drop it. On either day, gonna lay. Come to the lottery for the island, man. Yeah, because help, nickels and dimes cannot save you. They never have saved nobody, and they never will save nobody. So you have to take care of your health. Where did my health draw my health from? From the Creator. Indeed. I'm trying to find, follow His guidelines. And we play crazy like we don't know what God's guideline is. It's the same guideline when He put up the heavens and the earth, and the moons and the stars. And the, and, the, and the birds, the bees, they all have to follow just what God has put in creation. Mm -hmm. The law of creation. Everybody follows except man. The mm -hmm. birds, the bees, the alligators, the tigers, the lions. I don't care what it is on the planet Earth. They all follow his guideline. If you don't want to follow the guideline, I ain't mad at you. We're going to have a big, big series of situations go down on it. Mm hmm So we were at the signature room. Signature room. I guess I take people down here and do all that kind of stuff. How you learn about the signature room? Y'all always work right across the street, I see. I didn't even realize yeah, that. Yeah, the firehouse staff. Yeah. I, I, I took a friend here years oh. ago. Oh, oh I never heard about it. I'm yeah. like, what the heck? 95th floor. It's a beautiful city. Uh, Scenery, yeah. Cimeratic thing. See the whole city from there. Yeah, that's the one thing I like about it. How, how they got it set up, you can see everything. Oh, this is the elevator here, though? This is the, uh, what kind of elevator? You can go to the 95th floor, where it's at, and you can go to the height. See, they got what they can get that money chased back. Right, in case you can't get right that money. Right there, right there. Man. <laughs> go to Chase. That's Chase. A whole lot, bro. They got Chase was right real. See, this room is not cheap. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yes. Just hang right here with me. I got a picture of the next little bit. Oh, okay. Dope, dope, dope. Four, five times and never had a reservation. Because they ain't turning down no money. They shouldn't. Then they turn down that college all the way up on the 95th floor. Man. What's the other floor up there? Uh, 96, the bar. Yeah, 96. One whole floor up. Yeah. What is it called? A bar? Yeah, that's the 96th floor. What did they do up there? They got a good view. Oh, that's another restaurant, huh? Uh, they have a place like drinking alcohol and all that kind oh, of I stuff. Oh, I see, I see. You know? Mm-hmm. I appreciate uh, you guys. Uh, Welcome to the Signature Room, the restaurant Chicago looks up to. The Signature Room on the 95th floor features lunch and dinner daily, award-winning Sunday brunch, and private events. The Signature Lounge on the 96th floor lets you enjoy cocktails this and appetizers with sweeping views of the city. This is where I sent your two sons with their mother for Mother's Day. It cost me like $400, because guess what? I had it for them, and to take their mother, I guess the mother brought her mother and father. So I ended up paying like $400 for all of them. I was, I was literally just looking for them to, to take their mother, because they're young, they were young. But you know, God is good and that's all that counts. To make sure that it happened. How it happened ain't a major thing. Make it happen. Floor. Welcome to the signature room restaurant. Exit here for dining and private Don't get tired of seeing this? Don't get tired of seeing it? 
17? <laughs> so nobody gets to film up here, huh? Not, not I've seen it before. Moments. I've been here like seven times. Seen yeah, so many people, people filming. Do what you do. You get away, and you know, managers have to work and chase people away. But usually, I'm counting them. Away. Look good up here. Everything? Yep. Oh, wow, what's up over there? That's not a part of this. Yeah, everything. Let me just take a look quick at that. Yeah, you might just swing on too. Wow. Then on this part of it too now. Wow, you I'm snacking up. You looking it up, huh? Yeah? Who's this for? This is my father's birthday today. Okay, and what yeah, you work yeah. for the films? Uh, yep, yep, Chicago. I've been from the Chicago. I'm from here, South Side. Oh, yeah? I've been doing filmmaking for like 20 years. Right? Oh, have you really? Yeah. Well, you, you know the white, the white balls already told me, hey, uh, you can't film up here. Oh, I did said, man, I ain't seen so many people film up here. You don't get out my damn face. You, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> I bring money to her in the front door, and that shit will go out the back door. The six of her damn sisters. I want to work, I want to work. I said, here, they be a six person. They are $40 a piece. I said, how did the person go? Oh, I sold them. I gave my damn two. I gave Rakia one. Halima took one. I said, how much money? $40. $40. They going to give me the money. That's facts. You don't work. These are my, my shit all over. I left, left it alone. Rakia, uh, not Rakia, but uh, uh, Fatima, not Fatima. Yeah, Fatima, but before, yeah, it was Fatima first. Then Sarah. They have four children, and them and they got lived on my second floor. Guess for each one of them lived there over a year, possibly two. Get y'all one money I got from them. Not one dime. Guess how much money I was looking for them. Not one dime. Guess how many came across my mind to ask for someone? Not one time. It was just family and that's the way we roll. That's all. I still had to pay my dad on rent. I still had to make stuff happen in the gas and electric. I don't care how many people in this, it's gotta be done. I will try. I will try. And for me, that was my wife, sister, and my family. So it's not for me. I could never criticize none of my boys because when I see them do things, and I thought I was off the chain a little bit, I had to shut up because I saw myself. Like Zubair, the oldest boy. He got three, four damn people living in his house, and it's a small ass apartment. And it ain't his family, it's her family. Unbelievable. You know, but I had to shut up because I understood where he got that from. Even the type of lady that he married or, or hooked up with. At first, he had his children back. I couldn't say nothing because the look at her background was basically my wife's background. They didn't have much at all. And when God blessed me to come into the family, their father brought me into the house. He, he got me. The mother said he picked me for one of his seven daughters because they were stashed out. They were 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. When I came into that family, that and five of them, I registered them in the college. 
five of them. And they didn't have five of them, didn't have high school diplomas. I got them in a school called St. Mary's Alternative High School for pregnant women. All five of them. The rest in to get their high school diploma. And along with I did that, I registered because I was like 19 years old. I was a peer counselor. Years later, a couple of years later, I became a counselor. But a peer counselor, I knew at 19 years old, you can go to college, any college on the planet Earth, at 19 as a special student. They graduated. When I asked them what they wanted to be, Foster said she wanted to be a doctor. She's a nurse now. I think she just retired. But she wanted to be a psychiatrist, psychologist. She's been a school teacher. I'm just showing these are all facts. No. They graduated from Malcolm X College. In fact, Foster, what she do? Fatima, I got her a job with CTA. And she was a college student at Malcolm. Mr. Halima graduated from the program. Fatima graduated. My wife graduated from uh, Sadika's husband had her drop out. And Fazia didn't graduate until she took all the, she got hung up in the college. She took all the college courses and had to go back to graduate from high school because she could never graduate from college without finishing high school. So she went back and got a GED and as well as going to college. And uh, she worked in the Presbyterian St. Luke's Hospital for a good little while. And she uh, turned around and became a nurse. Now she's retired. So I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for that. And this is not no pat on the back for me. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just grateful and thankful that I was able to, to uh, help family. Nephews and stuff I got with CTA, along with the train. My own son I got with CTA, my oldest boy. I forgot about that. And then Mark. Rakia's son, Pepe, uh, Omar, a guy dead, but he had got stabbed in the eye as a young boy with a fork, so he didn't have peripheral vision, so the CTA didn't, didn't accept him, you know. But uh, that's what, to me, that's what I think that you do when you have a family. You bring something to the table. If, uh, if a steak and Kool-Aid, rice, and potatoes, and my father's not there, and all he is just bringing is bread. Where well, the bread is missing from the table, or Kool-Aid is missing from the table. It's, it's, it's a family uh, affair. You know, everybody's involved. Then 21, graduated from Dallas. Open up a clothing store. I graduated May 11, 1971. Less than June, I had my store set up. So I'm making $1,000 a week. I ain't paying no light, no gas, no rent. I got work study students helping me out, and I got the school paying them as a work study job. I get away from that for 20 years. I know, like a dope man, know that the police is coming at some time. So I applied for fire police and CTA in 1985. We got all three. I was 515 out of 36,000 for the fire. I started with CTA, then the Chicago police. I dropped the police in 86 of January. Turned around, the fire department called, hired me August the third. So I go to the fire academy from eight to four, and then drive Roosevelt Road bus from five to two thirty in the morning. All night cars and late p.m. And the blessing was it gave me the experience on how the rest of them, my most important thing that I always loved, and I did that. Here they come. Here's the rest of my family. Oh hey, it's summer. All right, we got the babies. Hi. Who are you? Hey, congratulations on the pregnancy too. What's up, girl? How you doing? Who are you? Who are you? I know, I know. <laughs> you scared. You scared of your uncle? Happy birthday, Papa! You scared too? No, you're not scared. You're my buddy. You're my friend. Hey, friend. Hi. Give me a hug. Yay. Hey, this is my wife. This is my wife, Dina. How many months are you? You, how many months? I'm nine. Nine? Yeah, I'm the next one. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Hello, oh, baby. Ha, 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 ha. She's the baby, so you know she's real. I have a zoom in the middle, Wow. 
I see them online. Do they be not doing their hands? Let's do it. It's like the day with your hands, girl. You are a lady. What are you? Who are you? What are you? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Right. Like, I gotta let her see. She one of the people like this. They go, Mommy, look. They go, Mommy. That's Mommy. Hi. What is this thing? Video machine. It's a gimbal. It's called a gimbal. Where'd you get it? China. I'm starting my YouTube channel. This would be perfect for that. I know. You know what she needs? She needs that box, I need too. This. The photo box. The photo box. No, I want just that. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. I just need that. The girls outnumber the boys now. <laughs> yeah, it's called off Amazon. It's called a gimbal. A gimbal. G I M B A L. And it's, uh, it's only about a hundred bucks. And you got the X. This is my new grandbaby. It's called Z H I. They sell them at they sell them at Apple Store too. Twenty eight Halloween. Right. Z H I Y U N. Yeah. U N. U N. We'll take your That's it. Come on, little babies. Come on, little babies. You need one, two hundred? Three. I, I, I can't get one, bro. That's a little ageism over there, bro. You better not cry. You better not. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. She turned around like, whoa. Whoa. Just like Nazim, Nazim <laughs> is real quiet, real quiet. You remember that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Big ol' eyes, look and stay and watch her. Watch it. My little niece. I ain't seen my little niece. Let's see this view now. All right, we, oh man, we got the round table. We got the round table. Bingo. Sir? No, you just have some lamb chops. Just Call her a salad. Lamb chops. Can I get some lamb chops? How do you want to cook? Like that, like that. That's medium. That's medium. I want medium. You want me yeah. To well done. Oh, no, it's two? just one. It's one. But this medium. Well That's what I want. Ten people. But I think he had a bad experience that taught him a lesson. So. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dad. Happy birthday. There you have it, live at the signature room, dad birthday 2018. Mm -hmm.